How do you juggle both? Star Kaloy is back with some tips on caregiving 101. Good morning, Star. Good morning. Let's go ahead and talk about it. I mean, it's we know that it is important mm -hmm. to know how to juggle both caring for a loved one and having your own career or holding on to your own career, mm -hmm. uh, but how do you juggle? That's a very good question. Many people don't really know what to do, and I'll take you through the stages of a family. Mm -hmm. you, we always hear about the stages of the Alzheimer patient or the stages of someone with dementia, but uh, even with a well-minded loved one, uh, you've got the stages to where, uh, let's take Mary, for example. I like to use Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary g starts getting phone calls constantly from uh, wor at, at work and mother's calling like every 30 minutes. You know, I need this, I need that, can you do this for me? And she does. She kind of feels guilty if she doesn't respond to it right away, but she can lose her job like this. Right. So what does she do? She, uh, t can she tell her mother, mother, please stop calling here? If the mother has dementia, mm -hmm. the mother isn't going to do that. She'll forget in 10 minutes. So what should you do in order to handle that? In order to handle it, what, what you do is you have someone either sit with her and watch her and we have tips in our book also about where to go for that or you can uh, move mother in with you and have someone come in and live in with you or mother can go to one of the senior citizen centers which is a wonderful activity because they pick them up in the morning bring them back in the evening they give them breakfast lunch and supper provide transportation and they have a lot of fun with people uh, their own age. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are just now being caregivers mm -hmm. to their loved ones, mom, mm -hmm. dad, and uncle, and they're probably feeling guilty. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that you want to mention, that you should not feel guilty for mm -hmm. wanting to ask for help. Oh, absolutely. We have our book. Our first book, in fact, Eileen, mm -hmm. was The Caring Caregiver's Guide to Dealing with Guilt. Mm -hmm. And we, we explored nine types of guilt, and that's one of the types. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very important that they understand in order to uh, alleviate themselves from that guilt is to find a solution. If you take your eyes off of yourself and inwardly of how bad you feel and you're not paralyzed by that, instead turn your eyes outwardly at finding the solution and we have so many solutions in our book and on our website that we are willing to share with everyone. I'm sure there are so many people out there who are so successful in their careers mm -hmm. right now and then all of a sudden you know they know they have the responsibility of taking care of their loved one and it could eat them up mm -hmm. while they're at work. It could, mm -hmm. They could suffer at work, they could suffer mm -hmm. at home. They have to be mm -hmm. a loving husband or wife and also a mother <coughs> and father to their own family. That's right. So we have a great solution for that. What we offer is this. If you feel led to be at home, mm -hmm. then uh, give your two weeks notice or give your, there's the Family Leave and Medical Act to where you can take up to six months off for a parent. Oh, okay. Did you know, that's a lot of people don't realize you're that. You're right, you're right. And it's very, very good. They don't have to pay you for that time mm -hmm. off, but they have to provide it, assuring that you that you will have a job when you come back. Mm -hmm. So all they, they would need to do is uh, go uh, to the uh, website, www.dol.gov, mm -hmm. G-O-V, and they can find everything on the Family Medical and Leave Act. And, and let's let's talk also about health and medical because I know that mm -hmm. you have mentioned before that uh, a caregiver who is just now realizing that they have to care for their loved one has to remember that it can take a toll on their health if they don't ask for help. That's right. They can get burnout. Mm -hmm. And caregiver stress is the number one killer mm -hmm. and it, it brings about a uh, heart attack and strokes and we have a full list in our we have an entire chapter devoted mm -hmm. in both books on uh, caregiver burnout but stress is terrible it, it eats you alive mm -hmm. you feel guilty you feel you start feeling anger many times uh, you neglect your loved one you become abusive in many cases and this isn't even your own personality you were doing just fine with your life you had mm -hmm. a great job your family was doing well the kids have left the nest and suddenly all of a sudden when you're on with your own life suddenly this happens and you have to provide care for your loved one and you don't have an inkling to how yes. to do it. That's why we wrote our books. And that's why you wrote those books. And so once again, it's caregiving tips A to Z. And to get your copy of the book, you can always call this number. It's 210-521-8668. You can also log on to this website. It's caregiversadvice.net. Some very important information 
Uh, and also, you're on the radio. More tips uh, with uh, Star and Bob Colloy of Caregiving 101 on KKYX 680 AM. Saturday mornings, 8 to 9. There's also the phone number once again. Two great books on how to care for your loved ones. Thank you so much, Star. We'll see you next Sunday. Sounds great.